All right, here for round four. I won the roll. I will choose to play first. We are two and one playing for all the marbles. Uh, appropriately enough against second prize. I will keep. I'm actually going to fetch a stomping grounds. Which you don't do very often in this deck. Especially on turn one. But. This is a heck of a hand if it works out. Swiftly spear him. Or or it. I guess second prize is a tiger, I guess. Don't be burned, don't be burned. Affinity with a pretty terrible hand. I guess it's not that terrible. I don't have any burn or anything. Where's my snip? Snip it a snip. Alright. Nice. Guess I should have saved this. That was silly of me. That was silly of me. Now I can't attack through an ornithopter. So I basically missed a point of damage. By getting a little uh, trigger happy on that thing. I assume it's going to be Citadel, Ornithopter, uh, Mox, Plating. Question is whether they want to go second Mox, Signal Pest. Which I assume they would. Huh, lots of Signal Pests instead of... So my opponent's hand is Plating... Something, something. Plating, um, Mox... I guess I could check my snip. Glimmer Void. Playing Mox Glimmer Void. Well, that means I can actually get value out of Remand, which is nice. I should definitely attack first. If my opponent blocks, I think I would, uh, Take that. Okay. This might have been a mistake. It's possible I was just supposed to go land, rancor this, hold up bolt. And just the game is just going to end before the um, before the remand being dead matters. So I am under quite a bit of pressure. Don't have a third mox off the top, that would be filthy. Alright, I could hit for four here. Yeah. Guess I'm just dead. unfortunate yeah unfortunate did a lot of damage to myself and just died to dorks unsurprisingly uh, all of these are great These less so. Do I want Staticaster? Probably. And Seal of Fire, probably. 
I don't think I want feed the clam now. That's a little too deep. I'm gonna do this thing again, even though I'm not sure it's right. Cause like Bobble's not a good card. Um, in matchups where like velocity really matters a lot, and like having the card right away matters a lot. Um, and also the information doesn't matter a lot in this matchup, and it being an artifact doesn't matter at all because there's going to be an artifact in the yard for Charmagoyth. Um, so for all those reasons, I think it's okay to cut Bobble. It just feels weird because um, like your zero mana cantrip is basically part of your mana base. But I think I can get away with it. I'm going to try at least, as evidenced by the fact that they are no longer in my deck. I like these. So I need one more cut, if this is all I want to do. Hmm. Snag, maybe? I can't cut probes. I already cut baubles, and I need the velocity of the probes. Bring in a bunch of removal and stuff. Snag might just not be where it's at. All right. Let's draw lots of grudges. One, two, three, break. Well, that's a grudge. Wow, this hand. Um, this really does put you to the test of how good is grudge. Eh, <laughs> why not? I need to draw an Is It Charm and get rid of some of these lands. Maybe that'd be cool. Um, we'll protect my life total a little. Alright, alright. Blinky. Siggy. Go? Alright. I'm gonna be looking for a stopping grounds pretty soon. Or uh Breeding Pool? Probably breeding pool. Kind of risky Glimmer Void, depending on what the rest of my opponent's hand is and turn is. Oh, Volcanic Fallout. Please, Volcanic Fallout. How sick would that be? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop all this mana. Because whatever. Now, I should get... If I'm getting Steam Vents anyway... Paying two life to kill a signal pest is worth it. Is it? Probably. I'm actually going to use the grudge though. Oh, I got the wrong land. Oops. All right, that just means I need to fetch an island instead of play mountain. If this was a steam vents, I could have done this and then played mountain. Because uh, I'm snapping the serum visions. Now that I hit Ranker, I kind of want to get a red source anyway. Alright, I'll just pay extra life for my mistake. Sorry everyone, I've, I've let you down. I 
ideally we find Fallout or Static Caster. Ooh, Static Caster and Fallout. Yeah, this Grudge was probably a mistake. I probably should have just fetched Steam Bends tapped, taking the turn back. It's a little overly conservative. Or maybe the opposite, aggressive. Ooh. Ooh la la. Well, this looks like the old top top. I want to play Goyf next turn, so we do like so. And hope that we don't get X championed. It's probably my nightmare. Plating sucks, but uh, I can handle it. Take a five ball. Now I play Goyf Seal. Hold up Bolt. I don't want to take three from this if I don't have to. Big old Goyf Dad. And Piker gets in there. We look okay. Our life total is a little low, thanks to some uh, fantastic blundering by yours truly, but... Basically stable, as long as we can fade like X to champion is really, really the one I'm afraid of. Everything else we can answer. There's an ancient grudge on top. No! Ah, <laughs> oh, sigh. All right. We might be able to actually kill it. No, because they still have the mana up. To activate a Nexus. Can't imagine you shouldn't attack. Um, I'm going to bolt this signal pest anyway on, on end step, I think. So doing this is totally fine to mask my intentions. And hopefully plating gets moved onto the champion. So then we get to kill the champion. Two smarts. Too smart. Hmm. Grudge. Yeah, I think this is this still works. I have to pay three to get another green source. Right? Yeah. 
attack. Maybe I should have pretended to think a little more on my attacks. Yeah, snap take. So I can... Well, all these types are in the yard, so I can just let damage happen. And I go grudge this. And what? And hope my opponent sp spooks and activates a nexus? Because they don't have to activate the nexus until after I do my thing. I have to hope they spook. Or just that I have enough. All right, they correctly let it happen. So now I pass the turn. Welding jar. Fine by me. Not really, but I think we might have this. That one is going to get answered. When equipments regenerate, they should fall off. Bang. I just need to draw a burn spell or a swift spear or the other ranker, snapcaster, abbot into any of the aforementioned. We have a lot of outs. Lot of outs. And we're only going to four this turn too, so opponent's going to be one off lethal as it stands just let it resolve you have a welding jar what are you doing it's protecting champion that important what does that mean for me I don't know but I'm going to fetch a green And big draw. Hmm. Ping life is so scary. I think I just pay mana. What's up, home skillet? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Draw for lethal. That. Does not do anything helpful. Rats. Unless the opponent like hauls off and end steps it. can't imagine that's how this game ends. So I have to charm into a bolt, basically. Because even if it's like Swift Spear, I have to discard the Ranker to keep the Swift Spear. Is there a way to use Grudge and Charm? Like if I Grudge the Jar, the champion can be blocked. 
until the opponent activates a Nexus. Which I... Is it Charm and then my opponent activates the other Nexus and Gal blasts me? Gal blasts me? Yeah, that doesn't cut it. Alright, two cards for a three outer. Big sweat. Please. Please. No. Oh, so close. <laughs> so very close. Oh, if only there was a way to get the two damage from Rancor and have it be in the yard. Oh, wait, no. Seal of Fire is already an enchantment in the yard. Oh, I need the Snapcaster and the land. Although, I would have to pay two and then would die anyway. So very, 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 very close. Rats. Hmm. I don't want it to be over. I was having so much fun with this deck. I was probably supposed to mulligan this game. It kept a real loose one. Because it had grudge. Uh, but it was definitely soft to champion. As you could tell. So... What's the lesson? Mulligan when you're supposed to? <laughs> I suppose that's the lesson. Anyway, this has been Modern Maniacs. I have been AJ Soccer. I hope you had fun. Um, I'm not editing this episode. I'm just going to post it right away because I want it to be up quickly. So hopefully the audio is okay. And sorry if there's any like big pauses. I don't think there's anything that I would uh, have to edit out or anything. Um, but I want to get the video up quickly because this deck is the hot ticket. Uh, good luck to Patrick Chapin tomorrow at the GP. I'll be watching and rooting for you, my good friend. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the, like the video, share it, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time for another Sweet Modern Brew.